press record on the transport or use the hotkey R. So that performance has been automatically quantized based on the 1 8 quantized setting. To return to the original unquantized performance, select the MIDI object first, then go to the MIDI menu and select Reset Quantize from the Extended Quantize menu. To revert to the quantized version, choose Start Quantize from the same menu. As usual, I would recommend setting up keyboard shortcuts if you plan to use these menu commands on a regular basis. You may find it more convenient to right click over the Q toolbar. This opens the MIDI Quantize settings window. You can reset quantization here as well, and more. This window offers a host of extended quantization possibilities. You can find out more in the Quantize chapter of this tutorial. Double clicking on the MIDI part will open it in the MIDI matrix editor. Right clicking on the Q menu icon will open a similar MIDI quantize settings window. If I click on the reset quantize button, you will see the MIDI notes return to their original unquantized positions. Press apply standard Q to requantize. To exit the MIDI editor, press enter. So that's the basic approach to recording live MIDI straight into a virtual project.